I started doing that at, like a couple of years back and it made a big difference performance wise in the gym. And then also just with how much I got done, like my mood, just how I felt on a regular basis. Today I'm with Drew and Drew is going to talk to us about a productivity tip. So hi Drew, who, can you tell us who you are? Hey Hugo, I am just a guy with a dream making the world a better place, man. I help people that sit often in offices to just feel better, move better, live with less aches and pains, just be healthy long term. Okay, awesome. So what is the productivity or improvement tip that you want to share today? So the, it's very simple and it comes from a performance background, which is you have to sleep. I believe winning the day starts the night before. The, I had great morning routines for a long time, but never saw a jump in my productivity until I actually started having an evening routine and approached my day started in the night before. So I always make sure to get to bed on the same time because your sleep regulates hormones, it regulates your mood, it regulates just a ton of different things. You know, we all need different amounts of sleep, so you have to test and figure it out what works best for you. But I'm a huge believer if you can get your um, thoughts down on paper the night before, get to bed on time, wake up on time, like that's the biggest productivity tip for me personally that has just made a difference in how much I get done in a day. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, that's, a, that's a great tip. Morning routine, yes. But what do you do the night before? That's for sure. But yeah. why people should listen to that tip? What should, uh, why is it helpful for people? I think mostly due to the fact that when your circadian rhythm's in alignment, you get more out of your sleep. So if you sleep sporadically or you're sacrificing sleep to get things done, it really ends up just hurting your overall, like the macro analysis of how much it is that you get done. And maybe in the micro, in that one day you got more done, but in the week, maybe what you could have gotten done if you had a consistent, you know, consistent sleep schedule. I think that protecting it is the best way that you can, like you just treat it some, like something delicate. Like you need to protect this item. It's valuable. And that's like, I, I started doing that at like a couple of years back and it made a big difference performance wise in the gym. And then also just with how much I got done, like my mood, just how I felt on a regular basis. Yeah, that's awesome. We all know that knowledge is good, so knowing that is good, but action is better. So what is yeah. your recommended action now? So I would say you need to just write, you need to write it down. Like you need to, writing something down makes it, you know, there's tangible evidence to that you're gonna do something. So I would start, you know, I'm going to be in bed by this time, and then write out what it is you have to do to make sure you're in bed at that time. You do that, and that's like, that's the first step I think that makes it really easy. But once you have your stepping from this to this to the next, it's write down what it is you have to do to get to bed on time, actually execute on it. And then also write down what things is you're going to do the next day. So they're out of your head. Falling asleep is the hardest part about this, whether it's breathing routines or something that, you know, med maybe meditation, whatever works for you, you have to figure out how can you make yourself fall asleep? Because that's, that's not as easy as it sounds for some people. It's definitely tough. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for this great tip. Uh, thank you, Drew. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Merci. If you enjoyed it, put a thumbs up, like it. It would go a long way. And I hope you enjoy this new video series on bite-sized productivity. Short videos coming your way, no fluff, straight to the point, exactly what you need to reclaim your time back and be more productive. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you know what to do. Au revoir.